In today's video, we will cover how you can use the math equations and more to change how your notes look inside of Notion. This video has nothing to do with math at all. So it can be used by everyone from students to entrepreneurs. I am confident that you haven't seen anything like this. By default, Notion has three headlines, H1 to H3 and the default size. It also has nine colors. For those of you who don't exactly use it regularly, this is how it looks. Today we are going to change that limitation. We will talk about using these hacks inside of your notes, inside of your tables and even using them on emojis. At the end, I will talk about how you can enable the RTL function which is right to left inside of Notion. This came up as a question from one of my viewers. You could add a math block inside of Notion by typing in the slash command and typing in math. This could be inline or a separate block. You could also bring in a math block in a line by highlighting the text and converting it into math. The simplest way I have found to use this function is by typing in command shift E and type the math block in. Now let's look at a few modifications for using it on a day to day basis. To use color and change the font and make it distinct, you type in slash color followed by the flower brackets and enter the color. Then you follow that up with the text. What's useful to note is that it accepts a variety of colors which look different from the Notion's default colors. For example, you could enter blue or light blue and they would both look radically different. Now you will notice that there is no space between words even if you enter two consecutive words. This applies even when you're trying to use a space using the space bar. The way to enter space is to use the slash followed by a semicolon for a thick space, a colon for a medium space or a comma for a thin space. Since I use a dark background, the colors that go really well are colors like pink, light blue, turquoise or light green. You can use a frame background color for the first letter by using the command slash color box. By using the command slash f color box, you can give the color a box like this. So you need to use two colors in sequence. If you just want the boxed word, you just write the command slash box. You can change the font sizes within the notes by typing in slash huge, slash large, slash normal size, slash small, slash footnote size, slash script size, slash tiny as the case may be. You can add dots with slash dots or slash c dots or slash v dots to define them. You can add other symbols and punctuations. Some examples that are pretty useful could be a copyright symbol, a degree symbol, a currency symbol like the pound or the yen. If you want to add subscripts, you can add the underscore symbol or you could add a superscript using the exponential symbol and this will create something like this. You could use a combination of two different commands by using the flower brackets appropriately. If you're used to writing Notion formulae where you open and close brackets, the same principles apply here as well. To top it off, you can add colors into this as well. Do remember here that you can still enlarge the sizes by, by converting a text block into a heading h1 to h3. You can also add larger brackets with the slash big command and these could be entered in three different ways. Depending on the type of bracket or vertical line you use, you can magnify the impact. You can add a circle with the slash big circ or one with a dot with the slash big o dot. You'll find the entire link in the description below. When you create a table, you can create a text field or use the default text field to use all of these functions. One of the brilliant uses for this is when you want to insert an emoji, but you want the emoji to be distinctly visible. You use the slash large function and make this emoji larger like this. So I took a standard paragraph in Notion which looks like this. I used some of the inbuilt styles that Notion default page gives you and converted it 
into something like this. And then I used all the other functionality that it supports. And now it looks like this. I know we are used to left to right languages, but there are many of us who need to use Notion in the RTL format. That's right to left. To mention a few, it could be Arabic, Hebrew, Persian, Urdu, Maldivian, etc. While I don't use any of these, there is a Chrome plugin, Notion RTL, the link of which is given in the description. That is offered by Omar Bharat. You can check these out if this meets your requirements. So did you learn something new in today's video? Do comment below. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.